Cape Penduline tits at their remarkable nest. The Cape Penduline tit is Southern Africa's second smallest bird after the Grey Penduline tit. Yet it can build such a clever intricate nest out of sheep's wool or plant down. In sheep farming areas they find wool caught on thorny bushes and they use it to construct their nests. In non-sheep farming areas they use plant down like these fluffy kapokbos seeds. The cosy bag shaped nest is usually placed in the middle of a very thorny bush to deter predators. The nest is constructed by both sexes. These tiny birds construct a very intricate nest. The nest has a false entrance. So if a snake comes there, it sticks its head in the false entrance and it leads to nowhere. The real entrance is just above the false entrance and is a narrow spout. The spout closes as soon as the bird leaves or enters the nest. If the spout doesn't close properly, the bird closes it with its head or with its feet. The nest is attached to branches and twigs by its roof. It is attached with spiderweb and wool. These nests are durable and waterproof because they have a fine felted texture. The birds achieve this matted texture by repeatedly pulling, teasing and jabbing the wool back into the nest wall. These cozy nests are used for successive broods and also for nighttime roosting by the whole family outside a breeding season. The chicks are fed by the adults and a few helpers. Timeline of feeding the chicks. The bird opens the entrance with her foot. She teases the wool to fluff it up so that it closes more easily. She closes the entrance hole. She closes the entrance hole with her head before flying off. She pushes the wall of the false cavity towards the back wall of the nest and checks that the main entrance is tightly closed. An adult with an insect for the chicks in the nest. Entering with an insect. The mate arriving and the other leaving. Closing the hole again.
making sure the hole is properly closed and the nest is secure. The nest in the southern Karoo. Entering, feeding the chicks and peeping out. The mate can be seen on top left. Fluffing up the entrance again and then closing it. The mate arrives with his insect. The adults and their helpers know the rule. If you enter to feed, you have to close the entrance. Same when you leave the nest. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and post any comments you have down below.